Mushroom farms are springing up in Singapore and the latest one is bringing expertise on automation and artificial intelligence to boost its crop yield. One of the largest it has tied up with a local farm to meet a third of local demand for a certain type of mushroom and sold at what might be a cheaper, a lower price. Rebecca Mateo takes a look at how and why authorities are raising the bar for farms taking up new land tenders. The only way this many mushrooms can be packed and rushed off ready for the market is to go high-tech. These modern farms are sprouting up in China, all powered by big data, artificial intelligence and automation. This company has four facilities that produce nearly 260 tons, all the weight of 65 elephants each day. It's bringing similar technology to Singapore in a vertical farm to be built at this land parcel at Sungai Tengah Close, the size of three football fields. We want to further improve the farming efficiency. For example, for the white butter mushroom, the entire growing cycle is about 60 days. So we have a program designed on each day of the mushroom development. On that specific day, we can predict what will be the for example, the, the length of the mushroom uh, to be gained and uh, what will be the weight uh, the mushroom can further uh, develop uh, on that specific day. This means double the yield, better quality and mushrooms that could be cheaper than those in the supermarket. The farm is expected to meet more than a third of local demand of this variety. It's also looking to recycle the farm waste for other crops and partnering local firms to do so. We work together with a local agri-tech company, Syndro. Uh, so we team up together to build up the circular agriculture practice. So Syndro will come in to manage the strawberry and the tomato production. And at the same time, we are working on other innovation uh, projects for uh, net zero or uh, even negative carbon production for such controlled environment agriculture. Mushrooms are not that difficult to grow. As the smaller farm tells me, all they need is some sawdust, corn kernels and supplements. Once the bag turns fully white, they are brought to tents like this, chilled to 18 degrees Celsius with high humidity. What we're trying to do is really replicate mushrooms' uh, natural environment where they thrive in, in an indoor scale. Uh, we control for different parameters and compared to traditional mushroom farming, it can be up to 90% more space efficient and resource efficient. The year-old homegrown firm is tucked in an industrial estate in Tuas. Its specialty is premium gourmet mushrooms like golden oysters or lion's mane, two tons in all each year. They can go for $12 per 200 grams and sold mainly to hotels and restaurants. Demand is up and it wants to sell in supermarkets soon, so it's looking for a bigger plot of land in the next two years to scale using machinery and bring down costs. Mushrooms have been found to be rich in nutrients and they are a good source of antioxidants. Some are known for their chewy and meat-like texture. Take for example this pink oyster mushrooms. They can taste like bacon or ham after they're cooked. Mushrooms can replace seafood in dishes and also add umami. They can be made more nutritious too. See, we have developed this combination of uh, this uh, a traditional substrate with uh, side streams from food processing industry that can be can be soybean residue, can be barley spent green. We realize when you incorporate at the right proportion these processing side streams with the traditional substrate, the mushroom nutrient value it can be enhanced. Prof Chen says it's time to look at mushrooms as a serious option to meet the country's food capability and capacity goals. Talk about egg farming, that is uh, very good on track. And then we talk about um, uh, aquaculture, fish, fish farming. Uh, that is uh, just take time to mature the technology so we have uh, enough fish for our needs. The third one is uh, vegetables. Mushrooms are not vegetables, they are a type of uh, fungi, fungus. But they also have fibers, they also have all these nutrition profiles that fulfill our needs and much easier to grow. The Singapore Food Agency says there are about seven mushroom farms in Singapore. Some of the newer local players only entered a few years ago.